Can we try the second one? Yeah, play that for me one more time. That was much better because that time I heard the C natural nice and low right there. Okay, would you do one more just like that? Very good. Okay, so we're going to add the rest of the notes back into this one, okay? Right there it says three zero. What does that mean? Play a harmonic with your three. Good. So what you're going to do is take your three and just slide them up. You don't have to move your thumb. Perfect. Good. So then we're going to go Okay. Ready? Go. That was really good. Let's do that one more time and then you're going to try it all by yourself, okay? Great. Do it all by yourself. Whoopsie. What'd you forget? To shift. Good. That's okay. Try it again. Excellent. The only thing that didn't quite work out is this note right here needed to be higher. Okay? Actually, it's going to be on the silver tape. Just like you did that one. That one you played on the silver tape, but that one needs to also be on the silver tape. Okay? Now I'm going to play that two different ways, and I want you to see if you can tell a difference, okay? Okay, here's the first way. Right, so it's kind of weird because the second notes are really longer in the music, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're dotted eighth notes and those are only sixteenth notes. But we're going to play them shorter. Do you know why we're going to do that? Mm -mm. If we're going to do it partly so that it sounds like a dance because it's a country mm -hmm. dance and partly so that we can tell where the beat is because these notes, the ones that we practiced last week, the ones that I circled, mm -hmm. those are the ones that are on the beat. Mm -hmm. So it should sound like pizza, 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 mm -hmm. pizza. Why don't we hear you do some of your popper and then we'll see what else we get to do with that. So you want to start with your A section and we might stop between the different sections and see how it goes. Okay. So feel the tug on that string and I think, um, well let's just go ahead and, and hear what sounds like. Okay. fingers extending down and then grabbing the bow point in. There. Excellent. That's coming good. Now try it with the pinky over. Do you still feel your pinky being active? If not, then put the pinky back on top because that's really a good first way to do that. Great. Okay, so now let's go to the... Let's start at the thumb position spot. Okay? 
Da, da, da. Let's see if we can bring out those little accents, because that's... And maybe take away the grace note. Can we go? Like that, okay? And feel that little pinch action, squeeze action on those accents. Ready, go. Good, okay, now let's add the... Okay. Bum, bum, ta da, da, da. Second time, what happens there? What's different there? Do you remember in your music? Separate pauses. Yeah, it's separate. Yeah, and let, let's see. Even later on, we do it. Even yet another way, right? So let's go back to. Let's see. Um, let's start at the second time around. Yeah. So, da, da. Yeah. Start at the second time around, and you'll have those accents. So see if you can feel that pinching action. Okay, and you also have a pull to do too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you do that? Da, da, da. The second time. Do you feel comfortable starting there, or do you want to back up to do the? Yeah, first I can time? do. It. Okay, so separate. Da, 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 da. Okay, so how does that feel? <laughs> weird starting from there, but it feels weird starting from there. Yeah. Maybe feel also a little bit more of a bow speed pull, okay? And just breathe a little bit with it, okay? It's supposed to be fun too, right? We want to tell the, show the audience that's kind of a fun piece, right? Okay, so here we go, ready? And. Okay, how are you feeling about this, like, notes Not too bad. wise? Do you want to try that for me? Yeah. And you, let's see, are you applying here, you're doing a shift, right? Right there. Yeah. And what's happening in this section is I'm hearing like, I'll hear something like da 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 because I know you're trying to find your next note and I'm wondering if you can smooth that out. Could you play from there and maybe just slow it down a little bit and see what's smooth? Okay, that worked really, really well for this one, D sharp G, mm -hmm. but for this D sharp G, I'm wondering so, if instead of you doing it like a shift, if you would play something like... See how, like, instead of, I kind of lean forward on the, G, the D sharp. Okay. Got yeah. okay. Try that a few more times, just so okay. that it feels really comfortable. Sorry. Can you go a little bit faster with it? Yeah. <laughs> so now you can feel kind of where your gap was gonna be because yeah, even now that it's smoothed out, you kind of mm -hmm. your bow compensates. Good. Do you want to put it back in maybe at that same yeah. tempo from mm -hmm. here? Really good. Right there. Yeah, no, no, I think that's helping a lot. So I'm just like, write something yeah, here for you about like smooth this out and smoothing this out. Um, I really liked your beginning. Could you play for me maybe just the first two again for mm -hmm. me a little bit under tempo? Good, that was totally fine. The first time I thought I heard some weird okay. <laughs> note there, but it was it's fine. It might be because this is a D sharp, F sharp, and later it's a D sharp, G, so it's like oh, that's... your finger kind of wants to be high the first time. Okay. So it's a little lot of chance to just keeping low. Yeah. The, the F sharp low. Yeah. But what's the other one you have? The Jupiter excerpt. Ah, oh yeah. I think this one's really good because the Kreutzer 31 we were talking about vibrato, now we can okay. work more on vibrato. <laughs>